Welcome back. The next story is about Soap Lake School District Superintendent Danny McDonald, who recently announced he will retire in June. Reporter Jeff Chu has the story. Danny McDonald, who has led Soap Lake School District for the past six years, plans to retire in June. The Soap Lake School Superintendent recently told the Soap Lake School Board about his plans. He is helping the board find a successor who would take over the school district's reins next fall. The first thing you might notice about McDonald is how small his office is inside the elementary school. You know, I never came in this business to be um, somebody who would flaunt their power status. This is not never what I came here for. I came here to teach people that kids need to have the best environment to learn. No, that's, I've always said that. So it doesn't matter what my office is because I'm never in it that much. McDonald, who has served as a school teacher and administrator at school districts around Washington State, came to Soap Lake from the Tushi School District near Walla Walla, where he was superintendent. He explained why he decided it was time to retire. You know, I think after 30 years, you know, when it's, it's a good time to. I've been here for going on six years, it's been six good years. The school board is now looking for someone who has worked as an educator and lived in Soap Lake before. McDonald will retire with his wife to Diamond Lake in Newport, where he hopes to get more fishing in. McDonald said he has seen positive changes in the district with about 455 students, 200 of which are in the elementary school and the rest in the middle and high schools. We were kind of thrown a curve, you know, when you first got here, we weren't necessarily in, uh, you know, school district of improvement. But we've got out of that in one school, and I think this school here will be out of it real soon. So we've done those things. Those are the very positive things. I think the other pieces that you look at is, is that you, you want to change the environment. You want to make sure kids are learning. I think our kids are, are learning a lot, a lot uh, more than when I was here f five years ago. And um, I think the perception of what they need to know has changed. He said his goal has been reached with the strong help of his teaching staff and parent support. McDonald said the number of high school seniors going on to college is proof that the district is doing its job of improving education. This year we have uh, 23 out of 24 seniors going on to post-secondary education. Twelve of them are going to uh, be going to four-year colleges. The Soap Lake educator said he has had weekly conversations with principals and his teaching staff about how student learning can improve. A Vietnam War veteran, McDonald said he came from a large family, a reason why he loves helping children. It's fun. Kids are great. Um, I just a world of neat kids here. What was his biggest accomplishment? To change uh, our focus on learning. If you look into the future, we'll be doing a great job. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. Rounding out this week's news coverage is a story about the construction of a new hangar at the Grant County International Airport that will house the new Mitsubishi MRJ passenger jet for testing. Reporter Devin Higgins has the details. Overcast skies and the threat of rain didn't dampen the spirits of the Grand Canyon International Airport on Monday. As the final piece of framework was installed in the new 65,000 square foot hangar that will house the new Mitsubishi MRJ passenger jet during its testing. A steel beam measuring 120 feet long, 16 and a half feet wide, and weighing 44,000 pounds was hoisted into place, but not before those on hand participated in a topping ceremony where they signed it for posterity. Aerotech President Lee Human said the joint effort will pay big dividends for both the airport and Grand County. Well, Aerotech is absolutely thrilled uh, to be celebrating the raising of the last uh, major steel member here this afternoon, which represents the culmination of over a year's work between the Port of Moses Lake, Aerotech, of course, BRPH, our architectural firm, lighting construction, the general contractor, and of course our biggest customer, Mitsubishi Aircraft. So we're just thrilled to be here today. It's a huge milestone for the project. This September, we'll be coming back to celebrate the grand opening of the facility. This project is the largest uh, aerospace investment in Moses Lake since the 50s when uh, the government built the, uh, the facilities here originally. So it's a great day for Aerotech. It's a great day for the port. It's a great day for the community. We'll be bringing a lot of good jobs here. So. It's super exciting. At the Grand County International Airport, Devin Higgins for iFiber One News. 
That wraps up our weekend edition. iFiber One News will be back on Monday at 5 p.m. with the latest news from around the Columbia Basin. Thank you for watching.